Hey, what's going on everybody? Gareth with FCP Euro. Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're going to be talking about the 8HP transmission. To that end, the 8HP is extremely reliable automatic transmission. In many ways, pretty revolutionary. Obviously, several different auto, man, uh, auto manufacturers use the 8HP. Uh, it's not just a BMW specific transmission, but it did take care of a lot of the problems the 6HP had. But we're gonna talk about some of the finer points on the 8HP in the F30. Uh, this would also pretty much be the same for any F22, F23, 2 series, F30, F31, F34, 3 series, and F32, F33, and F36, 4 series. BMW has way too many chassis codes these days. Somehow I can keep them straight, I don't know how. But anyway, here's really the basics. So we did a DIY video on an 8HP transmission, an 8HP 45 specifically, so one of the lower torque capacity transmissions that 8H, uh, ZF offers in the 8HP line, um, but also the most common 8HP transmission you'll find in BMW. We did a service at 50,000 miles, we sent the oil out to have it analyzed and everything came back pretty good, which was a good sign. ZF recommends a 50,000 mile or eight year service interval, 80,000 kilometers or eight years, whatever comes first. And we tend to err on the side of caution when it comes to these things and we go with the transmission manufacturer's recommendations as opposed to the car manufacturer's recommendations. Because car manufacturers are always trying to find ways to make their car more environmentally friendly, to meet new emissions and pollution regulations. And one of those ways is to extend or remove service intervals altogether. Really for most owners out there who are looking to keep their cars for a long period of time, since it is a huge investment, maintenance is something that you need to do to prolong the service life of really anything. And even though fluid technology and filter technology and everything's become so much better, that doesn't change the fact that, you know, wear materials inside the transmission, inside the fluid. These mechatronic valve bodies are very sensitive, the solenoids are sensitive, so any type of contamination or any type of magnetic fluid that can latch itself onto speed sensors, it's gonna cause problems. So we wanna avoid that. Uh, but with that said, the one nice thing about the 8HP transmission is it's very modular. And up to this point, it's been in use for, yeah, nine years. We're kind of about nine years. And it's shown itself to be a very reliable transmission. That's not to say that it doesn't have some problems, but for the most part, compared to the 6HP, super reliable. One thing to mention is the transmission oil pan kits, which is what this is. It's pretty modular. So when you buy this from ZF, like this particular one, which fits a BMW, fits an Alfa Romeo, fits a Jeep, fits a Ram. I mean, literally this one pan fits probably like 10 different auto manufacturers products because the transmission itself is modular. When you buy the kit, comes with the mounting screws, comes with the fill plug, uh, but the most important thing to note is the pan is also the filter. So if you ever have to remove the pan, let's just say you're replacing the mechatronic, you know, basically the valve body for any reason, you have to replace the pan at the same time because the filter is literally right here. And when it comes to the pan assemblies, there's a lot of aftermarket pan assemblies out on the market. Uh, we really recommend the ZF ones, which are made by Filtran. This is the original equipment. The filter media is gonna be the most up to date. And also it comes with the magnets and it comes with the drain plug pre-installed. But with that said, I'm gonna put this car up in the air. We're gonna talk about some of the other things to keep in mind, things to pay attention to when you own one of these cars that has one of these transmissions. And yeah, just need to put it up in the air and we can go right into that. All right, so here we are underneath the car and we had to remove a splash shield, normally the transmission is obscured by some sort of aerodynamic sort or splash shield if you like to call it that. But here's the pan that we're talking about. This transmission I know has never been serviced and you can see right here everything says ZF on it. Um, as I mentioned that you really only want to use the ZF branded pan because it's made by Filtran. Uh, but pretty much every 8HP, I think with the exception of maybe some Chrysler product, is going to be this plastic pan. There's some different pans based on some different variances of this transmission, but they pretty much all look the same. These transmissions are really not known for leaking, uh, but if you were to have some leaking issues, you would probably see it over here uh, where the oil cooler inlet and outlet hoses are. Sometimes the O-rings fail, uh, you'll get some seepage that's coming down in this area. Uh, so that's your dead giveaway, you have an issue with those uh, cooler lines. Now this is an X-Drive car, so 
this drive shaft is kind of in the way, sort of obscuring it, but uh, we can, we'll show you some footage of what that looks like up in there. Uh, but those are totally dry, so there's no issues there. Uh, another issue that pretty much all modern transmissions are known to have is the sealing sleeve for the electrical connector that comes from the body harness to the valve body. They call it a mechatronic sealing sleeve, this piece of plastic right here. There's two O-rings and then there's like another rubber seal on the end of it. Uh, but basically this goes into the transmission and this is what the connector goes in and seals to. If for some reason this sleeve is leaking, which I haven't seen too many cases of that on the 8HP, um, there are external leaks. So you would actually see oil kind of coming down in this area here, or it might be wet, potentially dripping depending on how bad it is. Um, but sometimes what can happen is oil can actually seep past this seal, come in here. And if you opened up the connector, you would find that the electrical pins have oil in them, which could be a problem. Um, to that end, uh, there is nothing mechanical about these transmissions in terms of the shift linkage. Uh, they're known as an E-shift transmission, so it's all electronic shift, it's all done by solenoids. Uh, so when you go ahead and put in park, reverse, neutral drive, or manual mode, uh, none of that is being done via a shift cable. That's all electronic. So everything communicates over the um, powertrain and CAN network. So any kind of oil contamination uh, due to a leak in the sealing sleeve uh, could cause some CAN communication problems, which you know, not only will the car maybe not go into drive, uh, but shifting could be erratic. There could be a lot of weird things going on. And it could be something as simple as, like I said, just this ceiling sleeve having a problem. Uh, but to that point, like I said, it's an E-shift transmission. That's how sort of everything has gone to. Uh, the mechatronic unit, which is up behind this oil pan, I'm not gonna pull this down to show that. Um, the mechatronic unit is both the electronic control unit and it's the mechanical valve body all in one. So instead of the transmission control unit being external to the transmission, it's built into the valve body, so it's a self-contained unit. Fortunately, on these AHPs, we haven't really seen too many solenoid-related issues like we have on the 6HP, which is the predecessor to this transmission, uh, but this 8HP transmission is pretty much its own thing. Outside of some similar-looking components, there actually really isn't anything that's shared between the 6HP and the 8HP. This is a clean slate built transmission, and you know, in the world of BMW right now, uh, if you've driven a, you know, modern BMW manual transmission equipped car, uh, they don't feel all that great. Uh, the shifter doesn't feel good. The clutch pedal, in my opinion, doesn't feel that good. This 8HP transmission uh, was designed to compete directly against Audi and Volkswagen's DSG box while keeping the cost down. And I would say for an automatic transmission, it's very difficult to tell that this is an automatic transmission with how it shifts. It's very smooth, it's very quick. Obviously, eight speed forward and one reverse. Uh, manual mode is really good on these, and the way that the transmission performs is, is fantastic. In fact, uh, these transmissions are so robust that BMW uses them in the M235iR race car. So instead of using a traditional racing transmission or a manual or a dual clutch, they just use the 8HP transmission. And there's people that have 30, 40,000 miles on them under racing conditions, and they're still, they're still going along, no problem. So, I think that's really a testament to how well built these are. Uh, another thing to keep in mind on these transmissions, because they're e-shift, is if the car, let's say, can't start or it needs to be towed, um, if for some reason you can't electronically shift the transmission into neutral, there is a mechanical override for it, which is right here. See this little screw? This little screw threads up engages that parking release pawl, and that's how you can manually put the transmission into neutral. We have a full video showing the process on how to do that, um, but worth mentioning because the number one issue on a lot of these electronic transmissions is if the car needs to be towed or there's something else going on, a lot of people don't know about this. So we're talking about it again in this video because it's worth mentioning, because most of these F30s come equipped with this transmission. It's just really as simple as that. So, you know, really outside of the DIY video that we have on how to properly service these transmissions, we haven't really had to do any other types of repairs because we just haven't really seen anything. Uh, all the parts that we had on the bench are really the only things that have ever really come up, and it's all just really general basic maintenance. Um, I would say the only thing to be aware of on a lot of these BMW uh, transmission coolers is they're using um, engine coolant. And if you run into a situation where you start finding fluid contamination or coolant contamination inside the gearbox oil, that's probably because that uh, transmission cooler has failed internally. 
that's a huge issue. Um, it, do, it doesn't really happen that commonly, but I have heard of some cases where there has been coolant contamination uh, in these transmissions from that type of oil cooler failure. Unfortunately, they're not using the more traditional, uh, you know, air to air it, uh, cooler. They're using the air to water cooler, which arguably is a little more efficient, but that's really the only thing to be aware of on that end. Other than that, like I said, these are really robust transmissions, but um, really not much more to say on these, which is actually a good thing. If there was more to talk about, that might be actually more of a problem. So um, yeah, we'll go ahead right back to the bench and wrap this video up. So as you can see, uh, you know, the HP transmission is a really fantastic transmission. Uh, pretty sophisticated, but also somewhat simple in its nature. Um, it's a fantastic shifting transmission for an automatic. And, and like I said in the earlier part of the video, I think it revolutionized the way that people saw automatic transmissions. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments or firsthand experience, leave it in the comment box below. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Also hit the subscribe button. We have a lot more videos on the way. And as always, we'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.